Hi guys, welcome to my new Cinema 4D video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to make this mailbox animation with Cinema 4D. Let's get started. So first step, go to objects and let's create new cube model. And click this point, chain scale. And this point, chain scale like this. Okay. Then go to click this icon for go to make editable and select this icon edge and select this edge hold shift select this edge then right mouse and go to bevel let's bevel like this and change here subdivision let's change 10 okay then then click move tool and let's click this icon select this and hold shift select this let's delay it okay and Let's hold control click A, select all this object and right mouse go to select extrude. Let's click this checkbox for create cups and extrude object like this. Okay, nice. Then click move tool and let's go to here. Let's select subdivision surface and select this cube move to inside this subdivision surface okay let's click this icon for close subdivision surface select this cube and go to click edge icon let's right mouse and loop path cut okay then let's add one path here and one here and let's one here okay and let's add next path here and here again add here and here okay let's click this icon okay not bad then let's add one path here and one here and here and here let's see okay and let's add one path here and here let's say again okay not bad let's try add again path here and here okay not bad let's click this icon then click this icon okay not bad i like it then go to cube let's create again new cube layer and move to here change scale size with these points okay and go to display let's select this show shading and when we selected this cube go to click this icon for again make editable and let's select this icon let's select here this edge and again right mouse select this bevel and let's bevel it good nice then click this icon and go to here select this rental selection and let's click this icon go to right and select these points let's move to left then click selection tool 
and this icon go to click this icon and click perspective okay so in this time let's select this icon and select this part and right mouse select extrude inner let's inner like this okay and right mouse select extrude and let's extrude like this okay let's click this checkbox and extrude okay nice then select this part and right mouse extrude in there let's in there like this okay and right mouse select this extrude and let's extrude like this okay not bad then click this icon and this move to icon okay nice i like it let's select this icon again and select this area right mouse extrude in there let's in there this part for smooth object like this okay nice then select this part and let's again extrude in there okay nice then click this icon and click move tool let's right mouse select loop path cut and let's add one here and one here here and here then here and here here and here and let's add here and here okay let's try click this icon and click move tool go to again here select subdivision surface and select this cube move to inside this subdivision surface okay let's go to display select grouting shading okay nice but we have problem here let's go to display select again show shading and close subdivision surface select this cube let's click this icon right mouse again loop path cut and let's add one here and one here let's see okay maybe not bad let's click here add here new pad okay not bad so click this icon and move tool let's go to display select grouting shading okay nice very smooth then select this object and we can see our anchor point here let's select this icon enable axis and move to here okay and click this icon go to here and move to down go to here okay move to right and down for animation then click this icon and let's go to perspective let's select this rotate tool and click this icon let's see okay nice this is object ready for animation then move to here and let's change size let's select these two subdivisions move to up 
okay and select this subdivision select this scale tool and let's scale like this and this let's move to down okay so not bad let's select the subdivision move to here and go to objects let's create new cylinder move to here and select rotate tool select this blue line and hold shift change rotate then click this move tool and let's change scale select this cylinder here and change radius and move to here move to up press s for zoom to object okay change height and radius okay let's move to up okay not bad let's move to right okay then select this object and move to here select this move to down hit this object okay and let's select this subdivision surface and this cylinder let's hold alt click g in the keyboard for create null object this is group and we can see inside this two object inside this null and select this null let's click this icon again move to here let's click this icon go to right view and move to here okay let's see click this icon and change rotation like this okay nice and click this icon move to here let's select null object and let's see nice so let's make other objects okay we have here we want to add this object someone here let's open null select the subdivision surface hold control move to left for duplicate okay change rotation like this and move to back okay nice then select this subdivision let's move to here okay nice and select this subdivision surface and this subdivision surface hold alt click g nice let's change this null name main and this object one okay so in this time let's go to object and let's create new cube change cube size okay move to here and move to down let's move to center nice and select this change size like this okay nice so in this time go to objects and let's create new cylinder move to up and select rotate tool select this hold shift change rotate and let's move to here change scale and select this cylinder change radius like this and change this size let's move to here okay and go to display let's see shading lines and let's move to down okay and hold control move to right for duplicate change radius like this and 
like this, okay. Move to back. Okay, let's move to right. Change height like this. Move to here. Okay, so in this time, select this cylinder, hold, control, move to right, again, for duplicate, select rotate tool, select this blue line, and hold shift, chain rotation, and click move tool, select this cylinder tool, change radius, and move to here, move to up, and change height, like this okay let's change radius 2 okay 2 is not good let's 3 okay 3 is good and in this time go to object again select cube let's move to up and change cube size Okay, and move to here, let's change again, size with these points, okay, and move to here, this is flag, and move to up, Let's click this icon and go to select point, go to range selection and select this point and hold shift select these points, go to scale tool and scale object like this. Click selection tool and again select scale tool, let's scale object like this, okay nice, click this icon and click move tool let's move to right okay nice I like it so select this object this object 1 and select rotate tool select this hold red line and hold shift let's open mailbox okay go to display change grading shape Okay, very smooth. Let's select this cube. Select move tool and move to down. Okay, nice. So friends, in this time, let's create male model. Uh, go to objects, select this cube. And move to here, move to up, press S, zoom to object. And let's change scale with these points like this okay this is male size is good but change like this okay so in this time let's go to click this icon and go to display select this shading show shading and click this icon let's right mouse loop path cut and let's add one here and one here here and here then add here here and here and finally add here center okay then click move tool and click points and right mouse select this line cut and let's select this point go to here click again this point go to up click this point and go to here click this point click this move tool and click this icon let's select this part and this 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 and this parts then right mouse and let's select this extrude and extrude object like this okay so in this time let's click move tool and click this edge icon right mouse go to again select loop path cut 
and let's add one pet here one here and one here okay and add one here and here so click this icon and this icon go to here select subdivision surface and select this cube move the inside this subdivision surface okay this is low poly male model and let's select this cube go to select points and let's see here let's go to here and select range selection and let's select these points and move to back okay and let's select these points move to like this okay and select these points move to like this and these points move to here and these points move to up and left and these points moved up and this okay nice click this icon and go to display select ground shading okay not bad let's select this object and click this icon go to subdivision surface and close subdivision okay let's change subdivision surface name mail and hold alt click g for convert to null object then select this null and move to here inside this mailbox okay let's change scale size okay and move to inside this mailbox and let's select this object one go to rotation and let's close like this okay in this time let's make animation keyframes or animation keyframes let's 200 keyframes click enter and change timeline with this tool and in this time select this object one and go to coordinates and we can use here rotation tool like this and let's click this icon go to 10 seconds and change rotation like this let's change 135 and click this icon let's see okay and go to 3k frame with this icon one two three change this 130 click enter and click this icon for bones effect let's see okay and go to 3k frame again one two three change this 136 click enter and click this icon let's see okay nice and in this time select this new object let's change name mail and when this open object select this mail go to coordinates and we can use this coordinates okay this is pz and make this shape frame go to here and move to like this and click this icon for save keyframe let's see 
Okay, nice. And go to here. Let's change rotation like this. Okay, make rotation keyframe and change rotation like this. Go to here with change rotation and click this icon. Let's see. Okay. And in this time, make new passing keyframe and go to here. Let's move to back. Okay, click this icon. Let's see. Okay, nice. Then go to here, make rotation keyframe and go to here, change rotation like this. Click this icon for save keyframe. Let's say again. Okay, nice. So in this time, select this object one and make new rotation keyframe and go to here. Change rotation like this. Click this icon and go to here. Let's close change zero click this icon let's see okay nice let's say again okay not bad so in this time let's go to here layout and change animate and we can work here with keyframes Okay, this is male keyframe. Let's select these keyframes. Move to right. And this male keyframes. And select this. Move to right. Let's see. Okay. And select this last two keyframe. Move to right. Let's see. Okay, and select these keyframes, these closed keyframes, move to left. Let's say again. Okay, let's move to left like this. Okay, nice. So in this time, select all these keyframes and let's click this icon for easy in. Let's see. Okay, nice. Not bad. So, open male keyframes and select these four position keyframes. And let's click this icon, easy ease, and let's see. Okay, nice. So, go to here, change layout standard and go to last keyframe let's see keyframes 8 to 4 change here 8 to 4 click enter and this is loop animation let's see all loop animation okay nice so let's add materials this object First step, go to here, let's double click and our first material, let's open this material. Let's select color yellow and let's use for this object and this object and this object. Okay, then hold Control, move to right for duplicate and let's change color like this. This is wood color, let's use here. Okay, we'll change like this. Okay, then hold 
control and move to right for duplicate again and let's change this color red okay and go to here let's use this color red this male okay nice and hold control move to right again this duplicate model and change color blue and use this cylinder okay nice and let's use this blue layer someone these cylinders okay and hold control move to right open this material let's change color purple let's use for this flag and hold control move to right finally this object color let's select this yellow okay nice so let's see nice so thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe channel like video and please follow me on instagram good luck